Yeah, a bunch of fucking candy bars in the camera. Don't fucking fall. Hardy Tartar bitches, it's your boy. Deadhead the motherfucking zombie. Back up in this biatch. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. Uh, I've been busy. You know, I've been talking about getting a job and shit. <clears throat> I have recorded one video. But, uh, I still have to put that together. I recorded that a couple days ago. Um, it is currently Sunday. I took a shower last night. Cool. Um, I'm just chilling. Uh, this is my episode of the whole uh, media scaring uh, uh, us as kids and shit. This is my episode, whichever mm, the number it is. Uh, this one's probably going to be a little light. But, <clears throat> yeah, I've been thinking about this a lot, actually, since first episode was Juggalo Barber. Much clown love to him, man. He's a motherfucking brother. Y'all know it. Shout out to fucking Candy too. That shit. Yeah, happy Halloween, motherfuckers. I don't know what day this video will be up. Probably soon after I record it. It is Sunday, so no, it's Saturday. I think the other video is recorded. Or whatever. We'll get to that when I get to it. Anyways, I've been thinking about this for a while now. For a good, I don't know, two weeks. When was that video? Okay, it was uploaded. Right now it says a week, but it might be crawling on two weeks. Um, uh, a lot of people uh, thought Courage the Cowardly Dog was a scary series cowardly dog um and i can see why but that is my favorite show of all time so i i do i do find it creepy but also very entertaining morbid in some episodes the shit can kind of be heavy it's a good show but the shit that freaked me out i recall watching a couple of japanese style horror movies going uh, uh growing up Yes, the fucking grudge girl used to scare the shit out of me. But, I was fucking eight when I first watched it. I grew up on some of the old slasher flicks. Like, uh, one of my aunts had, at the time, the complete franchise, almost, of Nightmare on Elm Street. I watched most of those. You know, shit like that didn't freak me out. Another thing that I recall freaking me out, though, was fucking porcelain dolls. But that's not r really much in media, because I do love the old Child's Play movies, but... Probably one movie that would freak me out as a kid would be, um... What the hell was it? Puppet Master? Something... Yeah, Puppet Master. I haven't seen any uh, of those movies, but puppets used to freak the shit out of me. Though I love, I loved Jeff Dunham. I don't know. Sometimes fear don't make no sense, you know. Ooh. Uh, what the hell is that other movie? James and the Giant Peach. There was a there is a scene that involved them spoilers if you haven't seen the movie I don't know what the fuck you doing man it's been out for a while a long fucking time uh, about 20 or over 20 years I'm not fucking sure all I know is that there is this part where they're floating in the giant peach they're going through a storm and there's this part where a fucking rhino Rushes out. It's got like fucking demon eyes and shit. That part used to scare the fuck out of me, man. Because I would also s sometimes sit kind of close to the TV when James and the Giant Peach was on. Because I loved that shit. Was, I loved that movie. Just so that part freaked me the hell out. <sighs> Damn. Sound like a fucking barnyard animal, huh? Sorry, y'all. <laughs> 
I don't know what else. I'm trying to think. I'm honestly trying to think because I I, I grew up watching the old, uh, well, kind of old, like early 2000s crime dramas. My mom would have them on. And I would get interested in some of them. Also, thanks to my mom, I have, I have <clears throat> grown uh, a huge respect and love for the field of the paranormal. Like, I watch ghost videos and shit. And when I got into it, shit like that when I would hear, uh, like, like someone telling me their ghost story, like actually sitting down and having conversations with them, their stories would freak me out. But I, I was very intrigued. I was interested in this shit. And now, some of my favorite shit to watch or hear stories about is paranormal encounters. Hell, I'll call myself Sasquatch, but that's because I have a hell of a beard. Which might be getting trimmed soon, speculation. Anyways, I don't know, man. Spiders used to kind of freak me out. There were. There's this movie out there <clears throat> that I keep getting flashbacks of where a guy was morphing into a fucking spider or some shit like that. I don't know the name of it, but I recall some guy turning into like some giant fucking spider. Another movie named, uh, I wouldn't say, oh, one well, that would have freaked me out would have been Eight Legged Freaks. Uh, I also grew up on, uh, the old Resident Evil. My mom beat every, almost every game. I don't think she's played, uh, Revelations Chapter 2. Um, she had 7. I don't know where that went. She has the RE2 remake, which I personally beat the two main stories of both characters. Fucking awesome shit. Um... I don't know, uh, there, there definitely wasn't much of any zombie movies that freaked me out. I mean, come on, I'm a dead zombie. You can tell how I feel about him. Uh, can't really think of anything. Ah, internet. Uh, internet, uh, creepypastas. Uh, like, or Japanese urban legends like Teke Teke and hearing how shit like that was put together. Oh my god, hearing the stories before I started was used to fucking freak the shit out of me, but I don't know, I guess I, I'm just like I kind of like getting scared, I don't do it very often, because there's not a lot of shit that legit creeps me out. I love horror, I do horror kind of rap mixed in with all my shit, so not a lot that, that really freaks me out, except for fucking porcelain dolls. And figures of owls. <laughs> Especially if they're a good size and they got the fuck. It, it's something in the big beady eyes that those fuckers have that freak the absolute shit out of me, dude. I don't know. But that's not media, but I don't know, man. Like, I, I, I've been thinking. I'm slipping on now. Hold on. Let me try to get back on track. Hmm. There, there was there's one more thing that I can think of my mom or I don't know if it was either my mom or my stepbrother they had they bought this game for the original Xbox also I'm getting an original Xbox here soon oh fuck yeah bro anyways staying on topic it was called Obscure it was like a teen horror drama the first mission, I can barely recall how it goes now because I haven't seen it in a while, but I recall watching my mom or my stepbrother beating the game. I know one of them beat it, but the first board, you, you play, what's his name? I think his name's Kevin. He's the jack. He, 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 well, so you know what he's doing after school. He's shooting hoops and shit, I think, or coming out of the locker room he hears it I think it's one of the things where he hears a noise he follows said noise and then the monster on that board freaked the shit out of me not only do you meet a 
spoilers, if you, uh, not only do you meet the other student, there's another student that looks like he's been experimenting on or some shit. It's really fucking freaky. And, and, and the monster is like a big, it kind of reminded me of a monster from Resident Evil. Like a, a mix between a seeker from the Elder Scrolls, those, those big tentacle fucks, and a uh, cross between one of those and a liquor from Resident Evil 2. It, it was freaky and the noise made me like, Whoa! chases you down a hallway and you can't escape it. You can almost escape it. But you, uh, your character gets pulled back down. You do find Kevin sometime later in the story, I think. But it, it, it freaked the absolute shit out of me. I mean, because I don't know why, honestly. Now, seeing it nowadays, I might actually watch a playthrough on good old SpewTube. If I find a good one, I'll save it to my channel. Make it a public playlist on my channel. Yeah. So, uh, I'm out. Actually, I might even get the game myself and do a review on it. Beat the fuck out of that game. Mr. GG did it with the Exorcist. I'm doing it with Obscure. I'll show you guys the cover art. That used to trip me out too. For the original Xbox. That review will come. Just gotta learn how to get it. Controls down. Because I don't have the original Xbox right now. But I plan on getting that here in the coming weeks. I also plan on getting a couple things. My warrior box. It's pay Tuesday. There's paycheck. Hell yeah. I think it's paid stuff Monday. Might show you all what that looks like. But, uh, yeah. I'm out this bitch. I think my episode might be the longest. Because I kind of rambled. Like a fucking idiot. What the fuck? I... Damn. It's hard fucking recording when you're trying to eat. That is for me, it is. Alright. Real though. Peace. This is gonna be the second video coming. Uh, by the time this one comes out. I'll more than likely be at work, so which means they'll be dropping around 6.30. Let people get home and then drop the video then. You're the one who might have that drop Monday. Uh, might be doing a, yeah, I'll be doing a vlog Tuesday. Yeah. Showing paste up and shit. All right, peace. Thanks for watching episode whatever's coming next. I don't know who's going to be on. Might be Gary and Caitlin, homeboy Gary. My sister Caitlin, give them their own episode. I might drop a song. It's unreleased. Gore bag. I finally got it done. Um, I might have it remastered before I drop it. It's an unreleased track from late 2018. It's actually pretty damn good. It's got Lord Scum on it. Shout out to him. Um, I think I might drop that on Halloween. I'm out this bitch. I said it like four fucking times. I am so professional. I'm just kidding. We're still celebrating 500 subs. Much clown love, y'all. Tell me what else do you think I should do? For a celebration, should I do a generic thing and do a Q and A? 
I might post some questions on Instagram. My Instagram's down below. Uh, I need some feedback. If you make it this far, put a whoop whoop down in the comments. Okay. I'm so scared of what I see. It's out going in the shadows, gonna find me. Oh.